Crypto Slow, Cryptocurrency News and Investing. So with more crypto gains, what's going on, guys? Tonight, I want to talk about and clear the air about the Binance Smart Chain. And that is the fact that you cannot, let me repeat, cannot send ERC-20 tokens directly to your Binance Smart Chain wallet or your MetaMask wallet running on the Binance Smart Chain. So if you have the Binance Smart Chain wallet installed or MetaMask running on the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, which you've added the custom node if you watched my previous video. Okay, so you're like, whoa, 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 what do you mean? What I mean is don't go logging in. Don't be a Chad to your Ethereum, Ethereum, okay? And try to send this ETH over to your Binance Smart Chain wallet because it's not ever going to arrive. You just got wrecked. You just got wrecked. So in order to understand this, you have to realize that Binance Smart Chain are BEP20 tokens. Your MetaMask wallet is ERC20 tokens. Okay, so if you go over to PancakeSwap and you're like, oh, wait, look, Binance Smart Chain, Cardano, BCH, you're like BUSD, you start seeing all these assets die. Oh, wow. I must send my die to buy Binance Smart Chain. No, no, you can't do it directly. You can't do it directly. All these assets on this list are BEP20 tokens. Let me repeat. All these assets on this PancakeSwap Binance Smart Chain platform are BEP20. Okay, so I've got that cleared out. So how, do you, how does it work then? Okay, so... ERC-20s must be bridged to BEP-20 before you can send them to your wallet. So if you had some ETH in your ERC-20 on MetaMask as ETH, you have to send it to a bridge. The bridge converts it to a BEP-20 on the Binance Smart Chain, and then you can send it to your Binance Smart Chain compatible wallet. So again... All assets on the Binance Smart Chain are Binance Smart Chain. Even though they have the same name, they're BEP20 tokens, okay? So you can't send ERC20 tokens to a BEP20 wallet. You can't send it from an ERC20 wallet to a BEP20 wallet. Can't do it, okay? The only way you can do it is on PancakeSwap or a lot of these other swap sites, you have to use the bridge. And the bridge is blocked on a lot of the U.S. sites. Now, if you're just having trouble um, and you're a non-U.S. citizen, I encourage you, try a VPN and you can make the bridge work. Um, there are limits when you use these bridges, okay? So the way the bridge works is you're going to go on the bridge, you're going to select, okay, so I had some ETH and this is chilling over on the Ethereum network and I want to send it to the Binance Smart Chain, one ETH, okay? Okay. I hit connect wallet. I hit send. It's going to pop up an address box. Okay. At which point I would copy the address. I would go to my MetaMask. I would send my ETH on the Ethereum network to that address. Then I wait a while. Okay. Then guess what happens after 12 confirmations magically in my BSC mainnet or in my Binance Smart Chain wallet. One ETH will appear, but the difference is it will be converted through the bridge to a BEP20, and the BEP20 tokens are pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the real tokens on other chains. So this is what's known as cross-chain technology. So you're basically creating a synthetic version of the original asset on the new chain, okay? Okay, so back over to PancakeSwap. So when you look at ETH over here on PancakeSwap, this is BEP20 ETH. I wish they would have just said ETH B. It would have made it a little more, uh, you know, easy to differentiate. Just like BTC has BTC B. Okay, I don't know why they didn't stay consistent and they created BTC B, but they didn't create ETH B. But the point is, is this ETH is a BEP20. So again. Do not repeat 
send ERC-20s when you're on the Ethereum network directly to Binance Smart Chain Wallet or your address on the Binance Smart Chain. It won't work. You'll lose your funds. Don't call your mom. Don't call anyone else if you get wrecked. Just don't do it. Your funds will be trapped, okay? So, to cover it again, just in case, ERC-20 on MetaMask, you send it to the bridge, it goes to the bridge, the bridge converts it to a BEP-20 of the same asset, and it sends it to your Binance Smart Chain wallet. It is that simple. There's a lot of confusion with this because all of these BEP-20 assets have the same name as they do on the Ethereum ERC-20 network. So these are two separate networks. By using the bridge, you send your money over, it gets converted to one-to-one, -one, and then it goes to your Binance Smart Chain wallet. So that's it. Like, subscribe. As always, this is crypto slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.